Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and today we will learn how to create a progress circle chart in Excel 2010. So earlier I have also created this video in Excel 2013 but few of my friends are not able to create this chart in Excel 2010 and that's the reason I'm creating this video. So friends, in this uh, video, I'll tell you three type of progress circle chart as you are seeing my screen. I have created service level and uh, uh, this quality score chart for three lines and this, this six liner productivity chart. Okay. So and these all the three chart are, con are connected with this data table. So if I will change, let's say value of service level if I want to take uh, uh, 59% then it will be changed accordingly quality score I want to change 25% then you can see only 25% area is highlighted similarly for productivity if I want to take let's say 10% then you can see only 10% area is highlighted and I have also given a uh, 3d effect here by using this shadow so I'll tell you how can you create this chart so I'm uh, going to use the same data so I'm going to copy this data and will add a new worksheet here and just paste this data so first of all I'll take a support column here I will use a formula 1 minus then v1 just fill it down press ctrl D and now I'll go to the insert and here in charts I'll go to the other charts and I will select this donut now I will resize the chart first like that and I will keep it here right click go to the select data now click on add data and we can remove the series name blank and we can give the series value as 20 times 1 or you can take 10 times or I'm taking 20 times okay okay let's check we can see the count from here it's 19 we can add one more sorry we can edit this series and we can add one more anywhere one comma now we can see the yes it's 20 now just remove this uh, lesion now right click and go to the format data series and here in format data series we will change the donut hole size we will take as 75 percent okay now uh, select this donut chart go to the format here we will fill a color you can take any color i'm taking this one which is dark blue now i will give a shape outline white one and I will also change the weight of the outline. I'll take this one and half. Okay, friends. Now right click on this chart and go to the select data and click on add data series. So we will add one more series for service level. Okay. And here in service level series value, we will take this one, which is V1 to C1 okay okay now select this outside donut right click go to the uh, change the chart type so as earlier we have learned we can use format data series but you can see here the uh, secondary access option is not available that's the reason we will use a trick here right click and change series chart type and here we will select this pie chart select this pie chart click ok 
see a pie is available here so i will select this pie chart click here right click and go to the format data point and here in format data points now you can see a secondary uh, access is available here so i'll select this one and close this now i'll select this blue area double click on it and go to the format now here i will select as no fill now i will select this area and here i will sorry double click and i will go to the fill i can fill here and you can fill for the first slice also from here no fill i'm taking this one now i'll select this solid fill and i will take color as white and i'll put the transparency as 10 percent now you can see our progress circle chart is ready that's how you can create in microsoft excel 2010 the progress circle chart but we will create the charts also so uh, now i'll go to the format i'll remove the um, shape outline no outline and i'll go to the view and i will remove the grid lines from here Now I can copy this chart and I can paste it here. Just keep it here. Right click, select data. I can remove this service label series. Now I'll tell you how we can create this type of chart in Microsoft Excel. So what I will do, I'll select this uh, donut, copy and I will control C and control B, paste. Again, control B, paste. So you can see uh three donuts are available here you can give the multi colors now like that so i can fill let's say any color i'm taking just random colors you can choose whatever color you want now we can use the same technique right click go to the select data add a new series series name will be let's say quality score then series value will be this v2 c2 close now select this outside donut right click go to the chain series chart type and from here i'll select this pi pi chart click ok you can see pi chart is available now double click on this uh 25% area this one and go to the fill and fill as no fill now double click on this outside area go to the fill and fill as solid solid fill and take transparency as 10% and go to the series option from here select the secondary ox option you can see this chart is ready okay friends now i will copy this chart again and will paste it here right click go to the select data and i will delete this service level series again from here and now we can use this multi-liner chart same way we have created here so copy this Control c paste 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 six time we'll use right click go to the format data series from here and i'll change the uh, donut hole size let's say up to 20 percent now you can see uh, our chart will look like we can give the alternate color here so let's say i want to give this color then the next line this color and the last line this color same technique for the uh, pie chart uh, sorry uh, for this pie we'll use here right click select data add series series name will be productivity and the series value this okay right click go to the change chart type we'll select pie chart this one okay now we have to click here to select the pie chart right click go to the format data series select secondary access from here then now double click on this slice go to the fill and no fill now double click on this slice go to the fill and go to the solid fill 
and here we will change the transparency as 10%. Sorry, uh, we have not changed the color. Double click fill. We will take this white color. Okay, so our three chart is ready. Now we can give this, uh, let's say, service level, productivity, and quality. So I'll tell you how can you insert it from here. Insert our tax box drag it here now press equal to and select this v1 for service level now you can resize it change the font impact and you can fill a color i'll go to the format and i want to fill this let's say blue color now i can keep the gradient effect I'll select this one like that and copy and paste here and paste here similarly we'll ch uh, change the no outline and here no outline and we'll connect with V2 we'll create the uh, service level and productivity tax box here now we will uh, put a shadow effect so I'll go to the insert and I will go to the shapes and I'll select uh, from the basic shapes this oval and I'll drag this over like this now I'll remove the shape outline now right click on this uh, oval shape go to the format shape and from here I'll go to the fill and gradient fill in gradient fill I have used already that's why it's taking default let's say it's taking something else like that then what uh, you need to do first of all remove all the stops just keep two stops here and for first stop I'll fill this uh, gray color and this second I'll fill this white color for second stop I'll give the 100% transparency for white one and for gray one I'll give let's say 30% approximately and here in type I'll select this path and you can see a uh, shadow is available here you can keep it here now you can adjust it and copy and paste you can keep it here and again paste you can keep it here you can select all the shape together and you can make it group so that's how friend you can create progress circle chart in excel 2010 and you can create some other variants also like that i hope you have enjoyed this video i'll upload this excel file to my google drive and will give the link in videos description box Please download this and you can use it in your daily, weekly and monthly reports, presentations, dashboards, etc. Thank you so much for the watching.